Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekend love readings for the 10th to the 12th of January. King of Wands popping out in the pre-shuffle there. Uh, just wanted to thank everyone for their support for the Australian bushfire appeal. I've received a huge amount of messages and um, prayers, thoughts, check-ins, all those sorts of things from you. So thank you so much. For those of you that do wish to donate that might not have already, I've got two links on my community page. One link is for local residents in Australia to be able to donate to. They probably already have those links, that's fine. International donations can't be made through those links, through that link though. So I've added a second link, which is for the Australian Red Cross. They are also funneling those funds uh, on that donation page through to the bushfire appeal so it will get to the same spot it is dedicated bushfire appeal fund um, it's just that they recognize that obviously international donations couldn't be made through that CFA website okay that said let's get started with your love messages for this weekend Aquarius so what have we got don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel leave a comment down in the comment section below that's how i communicate with you guys so super important that you're talking to me talk to me um also these are general love readings they're not going to resonate with everyone that's okay if that doesn't resonate with you hit the notification button and then go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on youtube all right let's get started with the love messages oh straight away Ten of Wands is trying to peek out there, so that's interesting. We'll see if he comes back again. All right. Tenth of the 12th of January. I'll take that and I'll take that. Mm. Okay, I feel like a work situation's really got you very stressed out over here, Aquarius. <clears throat> like uber stressed. Burnt out, overwhelmed. Um, you've got a Knight of Cups coming in though, which is great, as long as you're not too tired to actually go out and socialize. Okay, one more please for Aquarius. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So, Aquarius, um, I think you do have someone who is interested in you, and I'm going to clarify this in a minute, but it's like you're really focused on finances, career, and money, maybe to your detriment at the moment with this Three of Pentacles and Four of Swords in reverse. This is telling me that all you do is work, 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 work. And I've got that song in my head, work, 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 work. Uh, you may be missing out on an opportunity here. Can you see how... This knight is trying to come in, but where's the king looking? He's not even paying attention. He's like, no, I'm dreaming about all my money that I might earn. So you're potentially missing out on love offers by, or well, this particular love offer, by focusing too much on work. Uh, let's do some clarifying. So let's clarify the Three of Pentacles. Also, keep in mind these energies can reverse. So if it's your person that's not giving you attention because they're focusing on work and that makes sense for you, that's fine too. <laughs> what did I say about the Ten of Wands trying to peek out? And he literally, spirit selection, flipped out of the deck on its own. So, yeah. Uh, they want you to know, carrying a burden over here. It's a lot of work. There's a lot to do. Uh, let me just move this so you guys can see it. So three of pentacles, um, clarify, ten of wands clarifying the three of pentacles. Like you're working hard and it's a burden. And that is why your four of swords over here in reverse, you're in burnout. You're in exhaustion mode over here. So, or you're at risk of burnout. I feel like some of you, or whoever this working person is, feels almost a bit of martyrdom, like, oh, I have to do it because if I don't do it, no one else is going to do it. And there's this real um, must soldier on kind of approach going on here. Whether that's reasonable or not, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's clarify. I want to know more about these people. King of Pentacles, please. Okay. 
What makes the King of Pentacles the King of Pentacles? This person may have used work to distract them from a previous relationship failure, be that marriage, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it is, um, family breakdown, basically. I think they've kind of gotten into that habit though. So at first they used it as a way to distract themselves and stay busy and not have to think about it. But now that's where this martyrdom's come like, oh, well, I've got myself into this and now I have to carry all these sticks because everyone expects me to. Um, but that's why the king is the way he is. <clears throat> uh, anything else on that king of pentacles, please? I feel like there's more information that we have to get out of that. Yeah. It's also kind of indicating that with this five of wands in reverse, they're not really prepared to fight for a relationship. They're not prepared to um, uh, put this down in case they lose a relationship. I'm not sure that that's a very good quality because you should naturally want to put this down to to spend more time in your relationship so I, I don't know that they're in the right headspace at the moment again this could be you uh all right knight of cups please information on this knight of cups is coming in mm. um I think they're going to make a snap decision to either ask you out or tell you how they feel. They see you as a good choice. They see you as a good, sensible, like a good decision, I should make, say. Not necessarily a sensible decision, but yeah, they see this person as a good decision. Um, they, But I think it's going to be quite a quick last minute like spare of the moment would you like to have dinner with me or would you like to go for a drink with me or i feel this way about you um which might take this person by surprise okay let's go outcome sorry that was my poor shuffling skills uh most likely outcome here for aquarius how good is my new light Everything looks so clear and crisp. I love it. I changed my whole setup. <clears throat> Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay. Six of Swords in the upright. I feel that there's a but here. I can feel it. But there it is. Okay, but justice in reverse. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to take one more. Please. Okay, good. All right, so with this particular in situation, it does look like there is the opportunity is not going to be fulfilled. But I do kind of feel like you're moving on from that pretty quickly. So there's going to be a realisation that maybe this isn't the right time. I don't necessarily think it's the right, not the right person, but it's not the right time, I don't think. They have some stuff that they obviously need to sort out, um, or you do, depending on which way it is. And it's kind of like, you know what, This the cup is not ready for filling at the moment. So I'm just going to get in my little boat and sail off to some smoother waters over here. It doesn't feel good because I feel like it's unfair, but I've learned a lot about this situation. And I feel like that is the issue here. Like that is the, the point, is this here is a lesson. There's some sort of lesson in this scenario that you need to, that spirit wants you to take notice of. 
that is why this high, uh, the high priestess card is here too because you're being invited to go you know what go within connect understand what does your intuition say about this situation what did your intuition say at the beginning of the situation versus the end of the situation and kind of there's some spiritual growth here that you are potentially gaining on reflection so it's almost like a bit of a I'm feeling for a lot of you it's a bit of a karmic lesson it may not be resulting in the way or the ending that you wish um, and that's difficult I completely understand um, but I think that there is a, a benefit and there is a flip side where you're still gaining from this and you're gaining something important or it wouldn't be here okay let's do advice for Aquarius, please. Advice for Aquarius. interesting so two things here that I'm seeing first thing is don't when this all happens if this happens don't lock yourself away and refuse to see anyone you're not going to find someone if you are locked away eating popcorn watching Netflix Prince Charming is not coming to your door and going, oh, you're watching Netflix, cool. I just thought I'd peek in the window and or I magically got told that I should knock on your door. Like you need to go out and actually meet people or put yourself out there in some way, shape or form to actually meet people. That is where you will find the love opportunities. Also, I think that there's actually someone who's better suited to you that is an Aries and you may actually be getting some information about this person or they're kind of secretly spying on you. Um, I have a very positive feeling about this side of the advice, which is why I took an extra card. Um, I think if you haven't heard from this person, you're about to. It may be, I actually think it's someone that you know that you work with. I don't know why I think that. Intuition's a funny thing. It's weird, often I'm right, I don't know, can't explain it. Um, there's no science behind it, sorry. But yeah, I think it is something, someone that you work with um, and I think that they're kind of biding their time for the right opportunity to say something and they're very closely watching you, not in a creepy way, but in a, where they're looking for an in, like they're looking for some sort of, sign that they can ask you out or they can approach you or even talk to you for some some people so i very strongly sense that you know this person uh have a think about the aries in your life or people who might exhibit aries behaviors <laughs> um, if you don't know what aries behaviors are go and google it learn um, but yeah, they are a bit of a serious kind of person. Um, they have a bit of a fiery nature. They're, they're very, they can be quite black and white. Like they are strong personalities generally. Um, so yeah, definitely. I feel like this is a much better match for you, but you needed to learn the lesson from whatever's going on here. Let's do a romance angel for you, though. So this is kind of good news, Aquarius. I nearly called you Aqua. Romance angels. One. I just heard one door closes, another door opens. So I think that will be the title of this reading. Trust. You must trust me. You have to trust that I don't always know why this happens, but it's just trust that it's there. <laughs> That's what Spirit's saying as well. Just trust. Don't overthink it. Don't try and reason. Don't try and make it logical. 
this situation is calling for you to have faith and that's what i mean about there's a lesson here spirit wants you to call to call your attention to what happened here not because they want to hurt you or anything like that because i think you will be hurt from this or disappointed at least but because you need to trust that there was something there that was important that you discovered so that you can then apply it in the next relationship because it's all about learning um and we're almost like gathering information and storing it in our own personal little Wikipedia that then dictates what actions we take in the next relationship or the next interaction. Sometimes when we have a lot of negative, uh, negative entries entered into our Wikipedia, we get into bad habits and we kind of can become a little bit um, emotionally unstable. But we need to try and create or learn positive things from even the bad situations and put them also in our personal wikipedia so that we can learn um, and grow that's where the growth is growth doesn't happen when we're comfortable it happens when we're uncomfortable so please trust that, that you know even if this feels really awful at the moment that it is happening for a reason um, and that there is a greater good to it there is a benefit that will lead out of it Okay, Aquarius, that's what I have for you for this weekend. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. And I'll see you back here for the weekly reads. Talk to you soon. Bye.